Hey guys, so for this part of the video I thought I would do a voiceover of these GoPro clips or something. I don't know. I just wanted to mix up the video a bit so Oh, I'm out of breath because I've just been shopping. Um, at this point, I had only just got on Suarez, so it was walking around. Obviously, got to walk around before I start doing any exercise. Make sure they get warm first. So now I'm walking around the school. You can see my mum there. She is my pro videographer and photographer. Bless her. So yeah, we're just walking around the school. As you can see, it's not a very nice day when I filmed this. A bit rainy, a bit windy. But he's a good boy and then we've got to change the rain so going across the Don't diagonal again you can see like the yard and everything from here so this that's a mi little mini yard view so we're just going obviously across the diagonal to change it so we're just walking keeping on walking and i think we trot soon maybe in another clip yeah there we go so now i'm asking him to trot once we've walked around for a bit and got him all warm so yeah i'm just trotting around on the left rein Nosy the people on the yard because he's such a nosy boy. So we're at the other end of the school now, trotting, doing a 20 metre circle. Yeah, just doing a 20 metre circle. Got the do the circles to get them bending and get them listening to you. And I usually do 20 metre circles to start off with, then sometimes go and do some 10 metre circles as well. So yeah, we're at the bottom end of the school, and I'm pretty sure I do another 20 metre or change the rain. Change the rain and go on to the right rain. So we go change the diagonal. Trot. So we're at the bottom of the school again, and I feel like we're going to be in a 20 meter circle again. Yep, like I said, got to get those circles, guys. Got to do them circles. Love circles. They're like they're just a bit more interesting, aren't they? Um, yep. Doing that, and then we're doing a 10 meter circle here. Roll, <laughs> we roll, and look at his fo ears forward. Bless him, he's such a cutie. Then we go round, and I'm pretty sure I do the exact same thing on the other side of the school at B. So we're trotting round, keeping on going. Almost at B. We go at B, and then another 10 meter circle. And round. I make a bit of a better shape on this one. It's more of a circle rather than a squircle. <laughs> end I don't know what we're doing at this end I can't exactly remember am I going to do another 20 meter circle or something maybe canter I don't know he's got such a lovely canter guys it's honestly so nice he's so nice to ride as well so he doesn't really speed off and canter he likes to keep at his own pace and it's so nice it's such a nice canter change the rain and I'll probably end up doing the exact same on this rain so I'm asking for trot yep and then I think I'll trot to the top end of the school yeah look at your little happy ears they're so cute bless him see um the hedge on the right in the wind it blows so much so sometimes it can be a little spooky and that's why he sometimes looks at it and doesn't want to go as close to the wall but he's so good cantering nice little circle straight away keep them thinking Because Brooke does not stay in the corners. 
I love doing that transition along the diagonal. I don't know, it's just one of my favourite ones. And then canter down to the bottom end of the school. And we are now cooling off and just walking. I didn't do much of staying, but I did obviously walk in a lot more, but this is the only last cooling down I've been back.